So what we are about to do now is to penetrate the aura without really adapting ourselves to the person we're doing a reading for. Uh, unfortunately, this is quite common for people who are working with energies but um, have insufficient skill or awareness of uh, what they're doing. So often their uh, focus is strongly on themselves. They often have a good method of self-defense, but they're not seeing or realizing that harmony is actually a very essential thing, a very necessary thing for energy work. So they can be quite skilled and knowledgeable about how the aura works and what to do, but nevertheless they cause a lot of side effects or even damage to the persons uh, they're giving treatments to, especially if these people are sensitive people. So here I will uh, demonstrate a little bit of how this aura penetration works and it's also important to try to feel with your heart and to tune in to the client's feelings to see how they are reacting to it. In this video, rather than in a way sensing the aura and going in in a very um, harmonious manner, I will go in in a much more rough manner without adapting myself and this can cause some discomfort with the person you're sensing. So again, you're opening up your hands to be able to feel the other person, but I don't open up my heart or my third chakra so I don't expose myself to the person I'm making contact with. And as I'm walking in, um, some people can feel that the tension is rising or that also there can be some stress in the person which you're feeling this way. So you will note that um, the shape of the aura actually changes a little bit. So I'm not sure if you've been able to notice at all. But aura penetration caused, in a way, a dent in the aura to exist on the place where I was penetrating, and the energy of the aura moved to the sides. So the other thing which was happening is that the front side of the chakra started to close off a little because the energy could not flow naturally forward anymore, and the back sides of those chakras started to open up more to try to pull in more energy to push the aura back into shape. What you feel here um, is often misinterpreted. Many people who yeah, have an unpleasant or uh, disharmonious penetration of their energy bodies, they often feel a lot of energy, they feel a lot of power, they feel heat, they feel, feel flushed. And sometimes they mistake this for it to be a healing effect. That they feel like, gosh, yes, this healing or this healer is doing a lot to me because I noticed so many changes, so many things happening. But actually, if the healer is a very competent healer, then you should not feel as much. <laughs> so this may seem a little bit counterintuitive. But you can compare it to being operated on with a blunt knife or with a sharp knife. If the knife is sharp, there will be little extra damage being caused by the knife, and you will hardly notice that there actually is a cut. If somebody is sawing into you with a very blunt knife, you will notice a lot, you will feel a lot. So it is not always true that feeling a lot during a treatment makes the treatment to be better or more powerful, because what you're feeling might be your own defensive reaction or your own um, in a way, energy body discomfort, as it is uh, in this case. Um, but what's also good to notice is that once the uh, intrusion is gone, has ended, then within a few minutes the energy body already starts to recover and to yeah, get back to normal. And this is also very typical for um, uh, a not so good treatment that um, because there is kind of an association 
between the energy which you're given by the person giving the treatment and the discomfort of the energy body that while the energy body is repairing itself getting back into its normal shape it will also remove all those healing energies which are associated with the disturbance because they're seen as the cause of the disturbance so often such a treatment will feel very powerful very strong very influential but within an hour or so the person will feel nothing at all anymore and also the all the effects of the treatment will also have disappeared and this can lead to very yeah paradoxical things of persons coming every day for a treatment because once they are treated their headache goes away but within a few hours their headache returns but every time they come the headache is taken away and uh, this is actually that people get very very addicted to a short-term kick a short-term effect which they're getting similarly to a cigarette which is calming you down but if you don't smoke you feel more nervous and um, if you have an incompetent person treating your energy body also you will feel better during the treatment but after the treatment you will feel the same or even worse so try to be aware of the energy is actually being helpful being integrated because if the energy is right you will feel that it will start to move and flow and that your own energy body will actually also gain more space it will also flow more naturally if the treatment is not right then your own energy body will feel a little bit more uh, limited due to the treatment